Mike Lau, Central Georgia Sports Report. It's time for Mike's Monday Minute. Plus 2.3, because that's about what it always is going to be. It's the thought that counts. Last week, Stratford held a ceremony at their tennis center, named after Jamie Kaplan. A ceremony for Jamie Kaplan, who won her 500th uh, match as Stratford's tennis coach last week. And uh, they celebrated. It's her 20th year. Uh, a lot of people were there. They had a video that had messages from Martina Dravatilova and John Smoltz and Russell Henley. And, um, you know, it was a big deal for the people that were there because Jamie has been... Uh, the poster child for get her done for a long long time and helped a lot of people and she's undergoing a pretty major hefty burly health issue right now and uh and i talked to her for about half an hour afterwards and there's a big story uh on central georgia sports report about it and uh, she's she's got a battle but um you know she's gonna keep fighting because she's still not done doing her thing and the longer she can do her thing the better everybody is I'm a big fan of Caitlin Clark and women's sports in general. Some of the most entertaining things I've ever done have been girls' high school sports and uh, women's college sports. But do we really need a fangirl sideline person covering Caitlin Clark? She's covered pretty good, except when people are trying to play defense on her. Here's a little FYI for folks. Information, the stuff you find all the time in the Central Georgia Sports Report every day. There are three levels of Division One. Three, 1A, 1AA, 1AAA. Georgia and Mercer are Division One. Georgia's 1A, Mercer's 1AA. Mercer was 1AAA when they didn't have football. 1AAA is the non-football playing division, but it's still Division One. Gonzaga doesn't play football. Division, they're surviving without playing football. Division One. Three levels, Division One. Yes, this will be explained at some point further in the Central Georgia Sports Report, where the reading is always good and plenty. Somehow, Mercer was very expedient in hiring two new basketball coaches, needing less than a week to pick Ryan Ritter to coach the men and less than two weeks to get Michelle Clark Hurd to coach the women. Diverse, balanced resumes covering different levels. Those are very good things. Uh, Ritter comes in with momentum at Tennessee Martin momentum that Mercer hadn't really had in a while, and Clark heard after an SEC season at Mississippi State following some head coaching success. Making such quick hires is interesting, and making what appear to be good hires, but really, aren't they all good hires until the first games are played, um, in such a short time almost makes you too good to be true concerned, yes?